You're coming to work on a very hot day. You're thinking, is the power grid going to hold up? And if it fails, will our emergency generator start? Will everything hold up? There is so much connected in these buildings. Automated vehicles, moving supplies. It's devastating to a facility like this to lose your normal power. The system that keeps everything going is our electrical distribution system. Without that, all of this ceases to function. Critical power is needed to maintain life safety equipment, and that is supplied by backup diesel generators in case the grid blacks out. The equipment has redundancy built into it to ensure that the power is always there for the patient when they need it. What you don't want to do is be able to plug something into an outlet and there's no power. That's not a good thing to happen here in the hospital. Being an academic medical center, we tend to receive the most critically ill patients and the most difficult diseases that are out there. The caregiver can't do her job or his job if the equipment isn't functioning. There are 10,000 people that work at this academic medical center. Everything we do here has an impact on the metropolitan area. We have to conduct a series of tests and have them witnessed by the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. The key test is called the blackout test. You basically drop the normal power coming into the building and you measure the amount of time it takes to get the emergency power system up and running. When we first turned on the emergency power, we were around 14, 16 second range. But currently, with the loss of utility power, these generators will start within seven seconds. This is the emergency power control room. This is our control center for the entire emergency system on the campus. On the GE control panel here, I'm able to monitor the entire GE network on the ATS. Well, we've had a long-standing relationship with GE. There's a trust between GE and Rush on the systems that GE supplies and maintains. Emergency power systems are applicable to all different types of industries. It's not just hospitals. In hospitals, you just have some different regulations. We're literally saving lives here. But even if that's not what you do, whatever your functionality of your business or company is, it's critical to you. So you need reliable power. You need reliable GE equipment. 